He was. Centuries may have passed since then, but events from a thousand years ago remain crystal clear in my mind. In our last tale, Rex Lapis was walking alone in the mountains. He heard a remote voice, unlike any other, coming from a crack in the earth. Most of the ancient Geo life forms that live below Liyue are blind, having not seen the sunlight for an age. The voice was sometimes sad and song-like. Other times it was loud and thunderous. The Lord of Geo searched here and there before finally unearthing a strange stone from the bedrock. That's how Ejdaha was. I answered his wish and took him above ground. The Lord of Geo took pity on the rock spirit and carved it into a magnificent work of craftsmanship, a vivid representation of a dragon. I bestowed him with a pair of eyes to see the world and came to an agreement with him. With his fingers, he made two eyes, quicker than words could tell. Lightning flashed and thunder roared, and a living, breathing dragon soared into the clouds. I agreed to let him live among the people above ground. But if the day ever came when he brought ruin to order, he would once again be sealed in the dark. The dragon accompanied the Lord of Geo, fighting campaigns alongside him in the four corners of the world. We have a saying to eulogize these events. The crash of a spear brought billowing dust. The mountains and waters made way at the sound. The sight of a dragon bestowed with a touch the promise of rainwater blessing the ground.